Always good to get good sleep, right, Heather? Yeah, always. always. And you know what? Next couple evenings, some good nights to open up the windows, get some fresh air, cooling down in the evening. It helps with a good night's sleep, right? Uh, here's a look at the conditions right now. This is Fairfield. A little bit of hazy sunshine there. A little bit of a breeze too. The Delta breeze is picked up. Winds are between 20 and 25 miles per hour coming up through the Delta into the Bay Area. It's 90 in Sacramento, 96 in Stockton, still 78 degrees in South Lake Tahoe. A lot of valley spots right now. A good 5 to 10 degrees cooler compared to this time yesterday. And that cooling trend is going to continue on through this weekend all the way into Independence Day on Monday. You can see the onshore flow has built in wind speeds anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour for Fairfield and San Francisco. You go into the valley, a little bit of a breeze for right now, 5 to 10 miles per hour. But about 6, 7 o'clock this evening, that delta breeze will whoosh on inland and we'll feel that breeze pick up just a little bit. So here's a look at the hour by hour. Low 90s uh, through uh, the 4 and 5 p.m. hour, but we quickly drop back into the mid to low 70s by 8 p.m. on our way down into the upper 50s and low 60s first thing on Thursday morning. Here's the, uh, the weather players sort of setting things up for us. This area of low pressure is going to move closer as we go through the next couple of days. Not really close enough to do much in the way of clouds or precipitation. I think we get some high clouds here around Saturday into Sunday. But what this is really going to do for Northern California is keep draining that cool air in from the north. So we'll see temperatures go from the triple digits yesterday into likely the low to mid 80s by the time we get to Independence Day. That's a good five degrees below the average for this point in the season. So a nice little break for us. And again, that kind of hangs on as we go into next week. So we had eight days in a row, at least for Sacramento, where the temperature hit at least 100 degrees. You can see the uh, daily temperatures here for the month of June. Also had a little mini heat wave a couple of weeks ago, so we've had quite a few triple digit days this month, but also some little breaks there in between. We're sending the month out on a relatively cool note. We'll be starting July off the same way this weekend, but here's a look at the temperatures tomorrow morning. Low 60s at about 8 o'clock and then we're on our way up into the upper 80s and low 90s into the valley Thursday afternoon. Temperature drops a few more degrees as we go into the day on Friday. And again, that little onshore breeze will start to pick up later in the afternoon into the evening. Here's a look at the seven day for the Sierra. If you're headed up that way for the holiday weekend, expect low 70s Saturday, Sunday and Monday. A little bit of a breeze coming out of the west and southwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. But other than that, nothing too noteworthy. Here's a look at the seven day for the valley. Upper 80s next couple of days, mid 80s Saturday and Sunday. Independence Day going for a high of 84. Back to you.